What's up, fam? This is Vic from Quick Cuts Premium Lawn Care here in Conyers, Georgia. As always, hope you guys are cutting on. So, fam, I want to talk about five things you need to be working on during this um, slow season for most of us and some people the off season. Some of the things that you should be doing in order to help your business grow. <laughs> First, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. I am a lawn tech pro who's trying to take his business from $300,000 to half a million dollars. I'm also helping those people who are looking for mentors. Um, I'm doing coaching calls. And if you're looking for someone who can help mentor you to help grow your lawn care business, please um, hit me up with an email at this address. Also look at the description in the box, all right? So fam, here we go. So the five things you need to be working on during this slow season or off season for you. Number five, equipment, organization. You need to work on that because we know like a lot of times during the cut season, especially if you um, already have like people working for you, um, not being organized really slow the process of the work day down, not understanding how um, to already have your gas already situated, already having your, your string already situated each and every day. One of the things that I realized is that a lot of times my guys would come in and they wouldn't close out like we're supposed to. So this is important to continue to work on that, the structure that, um, that your truck for the things that you know you need because sometimes going out, not having that stuff and turning around going back to your um your property or wherever you need to go get it i mean it just slows things down to the point where you will lose money so having your truck organized is a very important um strategy to work on during this slow season number four communicating with your clients getting some feedback on how well you did um this year now i know a lot of times man we don't do a great job in following up with our clientele Sometimes, man, we just drop the ball, let them go into whatever hiatus they're going into, and we go into the same hiatus as well. But we need to stay in contact with our clientele. One of the things that you want to work on um, during this uh, slow or off season for you is finding out what it is that they was looking for um, during the um, cut season. Did you meet some of the things that they like or did you not? And you got to be able to hear it, guys. Because, fam, um, you don't want to not say anything and you go next year and they drop you where you can actually fix some of the things that you've done or didn't do this year by just giving them a call or texting them and seeing how things are going. Number three. Now, the good thing about number three is if you had some great reviews or feedback on what you did this, um, this season and they really like what you did, what you wanna do at this point in time is shoot them a, um, a text message with a link in it so they can go to um, your actual My Google Business and give you a five-star review. You want to take advantage of anytime someone pay you a compliment on what you're doing really well. Take advantage of it, because fam, if you're trying to grow this business and lawn care, it's all about um, getting those reviews up. People buy based upon reviews. If you go on Amazon, you're gonna buy something, you always look at the reviews. I know I do. So they're gonna do the exact same thing when they come to look for a lawn care guy next year. They're gonna look for who has the best reviews and we don't do a good job of following up, taking advantage of the great compliments that we do get from those clients. Uh, number two, you wanna take the time to set up with templates for quotes and templates for um, um, invoices. Take the time to develop a template. I'm telling you, fam, you cannot be working and doing stuff over and over and over and don't already have a wheel that's invented because you have already done it once. Why reinvent the wheel? Find out what you typically do over and over and over, put it in a template, sell the template. Um, we sell time. So anytime we go out to a job, we already have a template already set up to give a person a quote on the spot, how much we charge per man, and whether or not we're gonna give them what we consider um, a two-man hour, three-man hour, four-man hour. We already know it because we know our man hour price. So fam, work that template, put it in writing, and then when the season come, you ain't gotta 
figure it out. You already know what to do. The number one thing you should do during the slow or your off season, especially if you haven't done this, is take your clients that you got on a sheet of paper or a spreadsheet and get you a software that actually um, deals with lawn care. I mean, I know some people use Service Autopilot. I haven't. I'm, I'm a Yardbook guy, so I use Yardbook. Take those clients, put them in Yardbook. You should no longer have clients in an Excel document on a sheet of paper because, man, that is so much time consuming. I know people still printing out lists to, to check off um, for their clients. You don't have to do it no more. You got a cell phone. You can check it off from the cell phone. But that's for people who really, truly trying to grow their business because you're going to be dealing with people who don't do paper. You, you're going to be dealing with people who um, you need the phone to help them follow the directions of what you're trying to, um, to give them. And I'm telling you, you can take this time to transfer all your information onto a software. And believe me, if you got that many clients where you can't do it in the slow season or uh, off season, then you really, really should have some form of software if you have that many clients that you can't transfer over. So fam, hopefully this information um, is helpful. Um, man, I hope you guys are continue to cut on and I look forward to um, hearing something in the comments of something that you know that you should be doing during this slow season, something that you do to get yourself prepared for next year. As always, fam, cut on lawn care family, cut on. I'm cutting out. Peace.